In this video, I want to talk a little bit about hand quilting and uh, stenciling and how you can add to the design as you go along. This is a wall quilt, and I had previously painted the stencil on using um, artist oil paint, and um, then I had to let it dry for a while, and it took, well, maybe about a month to dry, and I have finished the hand quilting around that aspect of the quilt. I may do some more up through here around the stars, but I do have um, most of the hand quilting done, which you can kind of see like that. Now, what I want to do, I had uh, purchased an additional stencil, which is an eagle, and I'm trying to decide whether I want to just use a pounce powder to put that design on there and then quilt an outline, or if I want to go ahead and also use paint to add that eagle, I was going to then add another eagle over here, and um, I could even, I guess if I wanted to, put eagles all over the muslin. <clears throat> if I were going to do that, though, I would probably still be very choosy about where I put them. Now, this is my um, Hinterberg quilt hoop, which is a 29-inch hoop that's up on a pedestal, as you can see. And recently I had to get a wheelchair, and this type of a hoop is wonderful because it's one of the few pieces of furniture I own that a wheelchair can go right up and around. But in addition, it's um, perfect for centering your design, or somewhat centering your design, and then laying out your stencils if you want to add something. Now, um, this would obviously be hand quilting or painting and then hand quilting and not machine quilting. I do plan on doing some machine quilting on this uh, when I get a little bit more hand quilting done. But you'll notice I have masking tape um, on the stencil, and I think um, that I would do that whether I use the pounce or the paint, but especially with any kind of paint. Now, the, the background on this, the backing fabric, is a dark blue. So if I use blue paint to um, fill in that eagle and another eagle over on this side, um, I don't have to worry about bleed through, depending on the paint I'm using, because the background is already blue. But you do have to be very aware of that possibility all the time because you just never know. Um, as I said, this logo, center medallion logo, is in oil paint, but I've recently bought some um, better acrylic paints, and I'm thinking of doing the eagles in acrylic simply because it dries so much faster. I'm eager to get this one done and on its way, so um, if I were to use oil paint on that, I would then have to probably hang the quilt somewhere for a, about a month. Um, if you use the sheep of paint sticks as a, you know, for a stencil paint, those are oil paint and they're supposed to dry in 24 hours. But I have washed things about a week after I've painted with Shiva's and um, they're still not fully dry. And oil paint on canvas takes six months to dry. So that's why I hung this for a month. Um, you really need to let it set and cure. So I'm thinking acrylic would be dry in 24 hours. But I'm also liking the idea of white um, hand quilting, and then I could put eagles everywhere, all over the whole quilt, if I decided to um, just do the outline and do it with white hand quilting. So this is just a video about using your creativity and different ways and different effects that you can get with even a simple wall quilt such as this one, using stencils and either a pounce um, to simply mark your design on the fabric that check that it washes out, most of the time it washes out, or using paint. 
and um, either way you want to do a test swatch on a similar fabric to your quilt before you actually do your quilt and if you're using stencils you want to use masking tape to hold them down or hold them in position while you're uh, doing it. Now the acrylic I bought is a very thick heavy bodied um, almost I was going to say jello but it's not quite as firm as jello it's it's like pudding and so I can thin it a little bit and I can use a stencil brush and not a regular paintbrush in order to lightly stencil the color in where I want the eagle to go.